Hello, Scorpio couples. How are you guys? <clears throat> I hope all is well. I am Phoenix Rising, and if you're hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. Um, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome, baby. Uh, this is for cross watches as well. Um, if you've already subscribed, thanks for subscribing. I am here to do a love read for Scorpio. I can't, it's Mercury retrograde. The Scorpio couples. Um, this is a timeless love read, so whenever you get it, it's when you're supposed to get it. Um, if it don't apply, you let the shit fly out the windows, I always say. Um, Spirit wants you to know this reading is timeless, so whenever you click on it, it's when you're supposed to get it. And what else I was going to say? I, I saved the deck, of course. You see me do that. Um, I'm going to use my new situation deck. Okay, so now I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to do eight cards from there, and then I'll do two card clarifiers from this deck. Let me clear this deck. Scorpio couples. Scorpio couples. <clears throat> Scorpio couples. Um, I said time to be okay. So get a personal read or to cash out my donation is in the description box. Other than that, it's chapter two. This y'all full moon reads. The full moon tonight. Blood on the moon, baby. Scorpio couples. Spirit guys, like Archangel, higher power source, angels Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel. Give me messages, please, ancestors. I ask, for, I ask for messages, right? <laughs> ghost, block, cut off, lost. Couples. You're ghosting someone or someone's ghosting you. Someone's locked you or someone's trying to cut you off. Or at least that's how it feels. Escape. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Escapade. Uh, vacation. Hit, hideaway, and adventure. It's Mercury, it's Mercury retrograde, so. What a free shadow, so I can't talk. I'm pretty sure all the other readers are fumbling over their words. Your cards are drunk, flying everywhere. Ooh, revelation, awareness, finding out, coming to the light. Some of you can deal with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And this is your energy with 207 on the clock. Uh -oh. Fourth card out. Scorpio couples. Okay, so I'm popped up on my screen. Interrupting me. Two, three, four on the clock. Okay. Journal. Writing, diary, and keeping notes. Okay. Let's get clarifiers. Okay, so you got lost, ghosted, blocks, cut off. Why is ghost <clears throat> block cut off here? Seven of cups jumped out. Okay, the Seven of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. It is your energy. The Seven of Cups is an energy of um, picking and choosing, you know, um, having been in a fantasy world, wishful thinking. Okay, you might have, yeah, you, I feel like, hmm, hold on, let me get one more card. I feel like somebody is going in their head thinking about other options in this relationship with two, three, four on the clock. With two, with three, two, seven on this clock. I feel like somebody is thinking about all the other options they might have outside of this situation. Or somebody that they they was messing with ghosts to block them. Yeah. Or for some of you, um, this high priestess block you if you're a man. Or this high priestess is um into her work. She's on her laptop, she's doing her thing. You got the moon energy here. But it's definitely about picks and choices. The seven of uh, cups is definitely the high priestess is Pisces energy. This is creative, um, creating something new. Mm. Okay, so either she won't out the relationship or you do with the high priestess in reverse. Somebody don't want to be committed no more. Okay, whether it's man or woman, somebody don't with the high priestess in reverse. They they conflicted about being committed. Well, four fourteen o'clock. That's the, the lost blocked energy. The high priestess in reverse is definitely a non-committal person. They don't want to commit. And that could be why they're seeing other options. Or why someone's ghosting or blocking you or something like that. Because maybe they're seeking other options. Escapade. Hideaway. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. And they just said with the lost card, is water on there. So this is definitely water energy twice. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with 444 on the clock. Maybe you doing this. If it don't, reverse the reverse the roles. You know how this go. Escapade, vacation, hideaway. Why is that here? Oh yeah. Okay. So either either you blocking somebody, somebody blocks you with four, five, six, something o'clock. 
The four of swords is not talking to somebody. Going on a hideaway or getaway or something and not talking to somebody. Okay, that jumped out the deck too. So the four of swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. The four of swords can reverse. It's burnt out. Like going away, isolation. Somebody feels like they need to go away because at, at the end of the day, there's a five of pentacles here. And there's a Virgo towards Capricorn energy. The five of pentacles in reverse is uh, money improving or someone seeking forgiveness. So either somebody is in, money is improving positive changes. It could be one or the other in this relationship. Paying off debt, improving something, letting go of a, a relationship. Okay, so somebody is getting more of a relationship. Yeah. Recovering from loss and wanting a uh, wanting. Mm. Okay. And somebody's weak about this, either you or your mate. So this is putting somebody in their feelings with the strength card that just flew out. Leo energy could be you know, a Leo. The three of pentacles is somebody that maybe you was trying to build with with a six on the clock that you, that didn't want to participate, that wasn't putting forth the effort you was. This is a lack of commitment. Someone is lacking something in the situation. Okay, this is um <clears throat> Mistake. They, somebody feel like they made a mistake being with you or you feel like it's a mistake. Lack of growth. Not learning from mistakes. Yeah. It's like lack of effort or growth or teamwork. Somebody feel like somebody's not a really good team player. Either you or them. But I feel like this person is um, for Scorpio. You really care about this person. The Two of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. For some of you, you really feel you feeling this person. Two of Cups is the energy about choices, partnering, pairing. And I feel like... Um, Somebody's weak, you know, or feels some type of way because they, they intuit with their spouse with the two of cups upright because that's their best friend. It's a potential. This is a soulmate for some of you. OK, this is um, a proposal, a mutual understanding. This is my best friend, you know, ride or die, Bonnie and Clyde type feeling. Yeah. And it's the strength card is in reverse. So this not talking to a, a whatever it is, even being short with you or whatever it is, is making you feel some type of way. Real is. Oh, shoot. OK. Realization, awareness, finding and coming to the light. Finding out, coming to the light. What's coming to the light for Scorpio couples here? What's coming to the light for Scorpio couples? Two card draw. Oof. Hmm. Um, I think... <clears throat> Okay, so for some of you, I feel like the high priestess is a person you're dealing with that did want a commitment that is very uh, governed about the conversation. She's very structured um, or he is very structured. I feel like they're focusing on their money. And it's like the realization that somebody really cares more about their money in the relationship with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They're blinded by greed. Okay, um, power stricken and just it's all about the cash flow. And that's the realization for this higher fund. That the, that the money is more important in the relationship. Yep, the Six of Cups is here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is um also um someone's younger or, or, or immature. Okay. Yeah, so I, um it could be an age difference here with the Six of Cups too. This is someone also with childhood issues for some of you, abuse issues. Yeah. Okay. And the Hierophant is the marriage card. Somebody could be married, too. Some of you could be married in a committed relationship already, like marriage. Journal. Writing. Diary. Why is journal writing diary here? Scorpio couples, please. Journal. Writing. Diary. Cards fell out. Uh, I feel like somebody been building with this uh, Queen of Pentacles. It could be you. Okay, Virgo towards Capricorn energy. This is a boss bitch. Uh, I hate to say it like that, but she got her shit together. She looked to fly. She, and I feel like you went in and started getting creative and finding things, ventures to do. Or if you're a man, you just started focusing really on your money with the Queen of Pentacles. You really find new investments and things to do. And like I said, but it's making you not triumphant in love with the Ace of Swords in reverse. This is no victory. So it's, uh, it could be victory in, 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 in career, but this is not victory in relationships. <laughs> oh, Spirit said your career gets in the middle. Yeah, you focus on the money. There you go. And here goes, um, you know, not not victory. This is love. No victory. Focus on the money. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now let's get four more cards. Scorpio couple. Four more cards, Spirit. Four more cards, Spirit. Angels, Mike, Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel. Give me four more cards. Angels, give me four more cards, baby. They've been talking to me all day. 
love my angels. Children, young, childhood, playful. Could be a, a bit of an age difference or something dealing with children is an issue. You got tragedy. You okay. Tragedy, forbidden love with 10, 10 on the clock. So this could be a forbidden love. I'm hearing unthinkable Alicia Keys. That's forbidden. Remember they were forbidden because they was different races back in the day. That's the feeling I'm getting. Maybe your family don't like them. You don't, something to that degree. You got interview, talk, conversation. Get on the same page with 1027 on the clock. Last card out. You got gossip, petty, jealous, envy. Bitches be hating. Bitches be hating. Who hating on y'all, Scorch? Look at these bitches act like they like they like you all around you circle. Look at you. Whether you man or woman, you got three, four enemies around you that you don't even know about. Spirit said, ooh, 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 ooh. Blood on the moon. This should be revealed. That's my intuition. Say they, they showing you this card for a reason. Okay, children. Young childhood place. Why is that here? Scorpio couples. Why is young child childhood? No, no, no. Childhood playful here. Uh-uh. Go around. Uh-uh. Go around. I'm recording. <laughs> Already my daughter trying to whisper. Y'all, y'all, I got a life outside of terror. So I got my sister here. They, they can talk. You can see you fine. Okay. Children. Young childhood playful. Why is that here? See, I'm recording too for she come in here. You got Ten of Wands in reverse. And then you got the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, so look. This means your love life upside down. You got the Ten of Wands. Ten is hero flipped upside down. I mean, this shit is over. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. The Ten of Cups is a... a it's a soulmate gone wrong. For some of you, it could be somebody dealing with an outside karma. This is broken home, divorce. Someone keeping up with the appearances. Somebody could have made an outside baby. But this Ten of Cups is like... Collapse of a relationship or something coming to an end. Dealing with children. Ooh, ooh. Jumping out. You got the nine and the ten of cups in reverse. Your emotions all over the place in reverse. The ten of swans in reverse is definitely an energy of uh, collapse, breakdown. Learning to say no, letting go of something. Your baby mama, your baby daddy could be something just to do with that as well. You ain't got to be with the person. They, should, they could be strong up in your love because they're giving you a hard time. The Nine of Cups is in reverse. That is an energy of uh, not getting your wish fulfilled. You know, um, seeking out to get something. This is somebody with uh, addictions, a nightmare, stubborn, or someone immature because you got the child card. This is someone that could be very childish. But yeah, love life upside down with the Ten of Cups. Okay, tragedy, basically. Tragedy. Why is tragedy here? Forbidden love. Why is tragedy here? Forbidden love. <laughs> Or alone. Tragedy. Forbidden love. One more shuffle. All right. Eight of... <laughs> the eight of wands is here. So it's, whatever this is, someone's not talking to someone. There's no communication here with the eight of wands in reverse. Either they ain't talking to you, you ain't talking to them. And that's why I said yeah, I got the block card earlier. So it's no communication. Let me see. So, it's no communication because somebody's seeking other options. I'm going to just keep it real with you. Seven of Cups is back. <laughs> Somebody could be, be seeking a forbidden love and not communicating with you. Or somebody could see you as that. Seven of Cups, though. Yeah, pick and choose. If somebody looking at they trying to decide if they make the right choice with your ass, should they have chose you? That's why they're not talking to you. Inter oh shit. I'm sorry, y'all. Interview, talk, conversation. Could be a little air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Talk, conversation. Getting on the same page. Okay, so somebody wants to talk with 14, 15 on the clock, either you or them. Somebody's in deep thought, looking out the window, dazing out about this situation. Yep, because the, uh, the devil's here. So I feel like either you or them addicted to the, the person. It could be sexually or whatever, but it's some type of addiction here. That they want to talk about, or they need to talk to you because they're addicted to you. Talk, it says, uh, get on the same page. So they want to, they want to get along. Uh, the the devil is Capricorn, Cancer energy, and like I said, when it's upright, this is an addiction. Somebody can feel hopeless without you. But one of you guys are cheating, and they want to talk about that. Okay, Ooh. the page of wands is here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. The page of wands is uh, 
Yeah, coming in for a conversation. Coming in with communication. Letters. Uh, rush in. Yep, a rush in. Yep. How do go right down? Like that? Now, let's get to this gossip card. Gossip. Petty, jealous, envy. Why is that here for um, Scorpio? Why is that here for Scorpio? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. One more shuffle, y'all. Okay. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. And the Temptress is here with that. Sagittarius energy. With the Temptress. Could be dealing with a Sag. Um. King of Swords. Let me see. Someone is talking. A friend of yours is talking shit because you've detached yourself from something. You've been like real cool, calm, collected. Whether you're a man or a woman. And because they see you balancing yourself out, they're, they're, they're a little jealous. They hate not you with the King of Swords. They mad that you actually doing what you need to do for yourself, okay? This is, um, yeah, intellect, routine. You coming up with a routine, and you sticking to it, and you balancing your life out. And these bitches can't do that. So they got a motherfucking problem. Or these men can't do that. They, they see, if you're a man watching this, they see you as the king of swords. So it's like, oh, he think he know everything. He balanced out. They talking behind your back. So it's like back backstabbing. Okay, with the king of swords. They jealous because you the temptress. Finding your way, balancing out, harmony. I'm, I'm hearing Missy Ellie when I walk up in the P. Y'all ain't got even speed. I don't know why. Yeah. Y'all, she a bad mamma jamma. What she say? God damn it, you ain't got it like me. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a hating energy. Yep. They only around for some of you because you do, you do stuff for them. They're using you. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups in reverse. Unrequited love. Yep. And Eight of Cups is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The Eight of Cups is uh, energy of um, leaving a bad situation. And looking deeper. So I feel like some of you are going to leave a situation with 17, 17 on the clock friendship or your best friend, your lover, and you're going to have to self reflect after that to figure out why you keep drawing people in like that. They try to use you, right? Okay, guys, this has been your love read, Scorpios. Click like, subscribe, share me, come back and see me on Phoenix Rising. Don't forget to um, get uh, the the notification bell if you hit the um, subscribe button. And I'll be back for um, no score. Well, I'll be back to do no contact. Sorry. It's Mer Mercury retrograde. I cannot talk. I'll be back to do um, no contact Scorpio. What are they thinking? So I just got to do cancer and I got to do a couple other signs and then I'll be back. Okay. So I'm sending you guys love and light. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget for a personal reading or to cash out me a donation. It's in the description box on my page. Okay. Okay, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.